guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about dental options for your dog. So Peach on here, you saw this little multi poo, her head poking out is one year old and we have been working to get her teeth clean by brushing and trying all these options that the market has available to us. So let's start with the most traditional, which is your toothpaste here and brush. Now the toothpaste is peanut butter flavored, she likes to lick it. Um, but trying to brush her teeth with it is a little bit more challenging. She will close her mouth, refuse to open it, and she will move her head and try to get away from me when I try to brush her teeth. Um, I have not been as persistent to get her on board, but um, pers I believe persistence is key when it comes to teeth brushing here. Now when she was a puppy, we started off um, with this little thumb finger brush put toothpaste on here as well and kind of try to brush her teeth with it the problem is she'll bite this and hang on to it and try to destroy it so this is not that fun she she's used her baby tooth to kind of even bite when my fingers in it which has not been pleasant so I've sort of abandoned using this I might try now that her adult teeth are in but it is I just have a feeling she's out to destroy this the next option I have is a dental toy this is a ball with a lot of grooves and the idea is that the dog will try to um, grab treats or food in these grooves and they will sort of brush against her teeth. Um, you can apparently put toothpaste, toothpaste in here, which can be helpful if she's really into that. And again, it will kind of create a sort of brushing sensation for her to help clean her, brush her teeth. I've tried this, I've given her, um, I've put peanut butter in here, I've put toothpaste in here. I've put like food, kibble, um, it's not, she gets lazy, she won't go that deep for the grooves. If they're on the surface, she'll try for it. To be honest, I really need to try harder with this because it is a convenient way for her to brush her teeth. The next thing is this. This is a dental gel, it helps control tartar and plaque. And the idea here is you squirt some, you have her lie down and you squirt some on the side of her mouth. And then she uses her tongue and kind of licks around it so it kind of creates a coating on the surface of her teeth. And then she lies on her other side and you squirt it on the other side and she does this side as well. The problem is getting her to lie down on her side. The other problem is getting her to hold still. If I can do successfully get one side, I will not be able to get the other side. That, um, that has just been a challenge. She's not necessarily that receptive or a fan of the dental gel, but it is an option that can work. So you have that. The third thing I wanna show you here is, um, these are called veggie dent sticks. They basically contain an enzyme that also helps break up the tartar on the dog's teeth. Um, this is similar to, let's say your, your typical dental chew toy dental chew like your greenies or your whimsies those um i've tried they work but she tends to eat them very quickly so i i'm not it seems like she just swallows them and they haven't lasted very long in terms of like uh use across her teeth now this is what the veggie dent actually looks like for a small dog between like 11 and 20 or so pounds um you're supposed to give her one every day now she likes the smell, but she's not always that receptive to eating it. She'll grab it in her mouth and she'll run around and maybe take it and hide it, or she'll just come, or just simply reject it like she was doing now. Um, I've seen her eat one of these out of like 10 days of me trying to give her a stick every day. She'll take them and hide them around, around the house. And the problem with that is that I'll find them and you know, and she's not eating them. It's more like a toy. And uh, I've only, I stopped giving them to her because she's already accumulated two or three that just end up, you know, lying around. So unfortunately, it's not as effective as I hoped. Um, I have a feeling that the problem is she eats really well. I give her good food, essentially human grade food all the time. And she's quite the picky eater. So this to her is probably just not that appetizing. I think if I were to train her to eat like a lower tasting food, like, you know, put her back on kibble or whatever, um, she would be more receptive to something like this. It might seem more tasty or interesting to her. But anyway, so that's another option. 
And then the last option I have here, which is very new, I just got it from the dental vet's office very recently, is called Vetrodent. And what it is, it's a water additive. And you just add like a few teaspoons to whatever recommended cups of water they have listed here. She just drinks it out of her water bowl like any, like she would just regular water. The additive in here basically is like your, like a Listerine that's consumable for your pet, your cat or dog here. And um, it's something we're gonna try. My understanding is the dogs are pretty receptive to it and they don't really notice the difference in taste. So, um, so we'll try it and we'll see how it works. Now, this is not supposed to be a substitute for brushing her teeth. It's supposed, like, you know, humans, we use Listerine as a um, breath freshener, but again, it doesn't like, um, it doesn't have the same value as brushing the teeth. So, but this helps and every little bit helps when it comes to teeth brushing because she's just not that easy to, um, it's just not that easy brushing her teeth. So I'll let you know how that one goes. But one thing to note is that there are many different brands when it comes to water additives and um, you want to be careful some of the ingredients are less helpful this one i got directly from the vet's office so i feel pretty confident in the product but um, you just might want to be careful because there may have other brands may have other things in them that just might not be that good for your dog like sorbitol or xylitol and some of these other uh, ingredients so just be on the lookout for that if you do decide to use this the other benefit and I don't know if it's true for this one in particular but uh, the water uh, additive acts as an antibacterial um, for the water in your dog bowl if you're not changing that water every day um, bacteria does grow and this is one way it sort of acts you know as a way as an antibacterial so the dog is you know dealing or consuming um, less bacteria so or less exposure to bacteria so something to consider um, so those are the products I showed you I want to say it's about five products here you got your toothbrush toothpaste your dental toy your dental gel your um, dental chew and your water additive so Hopefully um, that was helpful. I use a combination of all of these. Again, this is what I'm gonna try next. I just have not been that good when it comes to brushing her teeth. And it's just, <laughs> it's just not an easy process. And so it's something I think I just really need to be persistent with. But there are a lot of, as you can tell, there are a lot of options on the market. So hopefully one of them works for you and you wanna use the one that's gonna work ultimately. Uh, in the meantime, I'll be trying on these other. I'll be trying these other ones to, until I can get to just getting her teeth brushed or brushing her teeth. And these all work sort of in um, in addition to doing regular dental cleanings. So um, yeah, hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Bye.